thank you. Here's the recipe. For the dough, I need a quarter of oh, shit. You call and punish it. A quarter of an ounce of fresh yeast. Where is the yeast? Come. Behind you. Ah, yes. And I need eight ounces of plain flour. I think it's up here. Um, yeah, what you want is cake flour. Yeah, have you got cake flour? Mm, not sure. That's. Eight ounces of plain cake flour or plain flour. Cake flour will be better, but this is we're improvising. This is bread flour, and yes, we'll need to sieve that. Meanwhile, I shall get the yeast and it should be a pair of scissors in the it. drawer. Yeah. Second drawer. Yeah. In some warm water. So I need a jug which tells me. Half a pint of warm water. There's your half warm pint water, or half ten pint fluid of ounces of and now warm water. We're going to pop the yeast on top. I'll stick it all in. Yeah, there's okay. one packet of dried yeast instead of instead of um, half an ounce of fresh yeast. Instead of half an ounce of fresh yeast, but I think we did this last year and it worked. Right, okay. We've not got last year's film. Oh, we never finished it, right. Well, we've got half of it. So that can be developed. We didn't finish. Okay. Now we need to measure the. Uh, sorry, we need to sift the flour. And we have a very fine sifter here. Yeah, but you have to shake, there's no. Oh, you can't. Oh, no. Okay, <laughs> never mind. You just, just bash it against yeah, the bowl, okay. it works. Right, here we go. Sip, sip, sip. Um, salt. Level teaspoonful of salt. Not, not in the cupboard, but in uh, that little... Yeah. yeah. And if that's not enough? No, that's plenty. One level teaspoon of salt going into the flour. The dough. And then, remember, this is the dough we're making, not the filling. Of the right. Dough. So we have a quarter of an ounce of yellow lard in the dough. In the dough. The dough's going to be in there. I did bottom here. So what kind of lard is this? This is lard lard, real lard from England. Or it could have come from any other part of the UK, I guess. Why do you think they wouldn't sell that in South Africa? Well, There's no, no demand. Have you ever found it? No. Last says they don't. No, so. we've, ne we've looked, but we never found. Oh, I see. I'm just I wondering why. Been. Right, oh, I see. Sorry, got the wrong message there. Um, e Back to naught, it's this side. It. Yeah. Yes. So and if you want, on. if you want this one on naught, well, I'm just then you press again. Okay. Right. So in the dough, we just want half an ounce of flour. Just a little bit. Right. Okay. So we'll cut that up a bit. And then we rub it in. I mean, the fascinating thing is that now we have food mixers. I never rub anything. Oh, really? But you, you will do. today because we so don't have today a food mixer. I'm going to rub. And it's a lot of times it's I've done this. Wonderful. But it probably tastes much better if you rub it by hand. No, it doesn't. Because it's got all the genuine bits from your hands it in is. it as well. <laughs> My dirty fingernails, yes. Okay. 
half instead of half a pint, I should have made a quarter of a pint of liquid with the yeast and warm water. So I'm not going to pour it all in. I shall just pour enough to half. make a dough. About half, it'll be about half. But remember, we're not doing things down to the millimetre here. Oh, we'll just put that down. Um, we'll have to give us some warning before she comes back so we can clear up. Maybe. Oh, maybe we'll lose it, use it all after all. So we are looking to make a firm dough. Here. So it's taken actually a bit more than half of that. So perhaps it's just as well we need a bit more. So this is now the kneading. I, I've got the need. You've got the need. The kneading. Well, I've got the need for the cake. Uh -huh. Right, we've made a soft dough and now we're kneading. So, we need to knead for 10 minutes again. I don't normally do this, especially since I've got arthritic fingers. But, knees must. Ten minutes later, right, I'm still kneading. To the end of the ten minutes. Okay. And we've now got a nice, soft, pliable dough. And it needs to go in a warm place to rise. Well, To it's double sort of its size. Is there room in there for it to double its... Oh, yeah, it. yeah, definitely. Okay. Where would be a warm Tea place? towel. Yeah. Hanging on the oven. Outside it is summer and I don't know what's that 20 26 degrees maybe so if I put it in the sun yeah let me put it okay. next to the, the vacuum cleaner why the vacuum cleaner is sitting there I have no idea and then we'll come back to it later okay always clear up as you go along you don't have a lot left at the end to do right, let's get rid of that Now we turn over. Oh, on, to, on to the other side. Maybe I should yeah. take a close up of the other side. That's a bit damp then. Properly. Right. Okay. Over the page, it says, oh, actually, not much we can do. Well, what I'll do is measure stuff out so it's ready. Um, but we have to wait until it's doubled in size, really. Okay. Um, so we need to measure out. Um, the filling is on this side. Six ounce of lard. I mean, it's more or less the rest of this, I think. Do you want another bowl? No, do it in here. Oh, okay. Ounces. 8.3 ounces. Well, you know, six-ish. Because um, if there's extra, presumably it's like yeah. roasting in the roasting dish. Yeah. Four ounces of sugar and... Do you have granulated sugar? It's better if it's the gritty stuff. Yeah, we have cane rice. sugar. Yeah, it's good. Cane sugar in there. One you prepared earlier. I'm preparing now. Right. 
um, sugar. Just open the yeah. yeah, open the thing and pour right. until you've got enough. And I said four ounces. Good, that's ready. And we also need six ounces of sultanas and or dried fruit which we happen to have yeah here. so we're going to do a little bit of cheating here let me explain yeah, so we indeed. we made some stuff for mince pies that we didn't end up making which is basically a mixture of sultanas and raisins and brandy um and they've been soaking for the christmas period um and then they didn't get used so we're going to tap into some of that So it's going to be a bit of a bit heavier because of the brandy. How are you going to account for that, Eileen? Oh. I don't know. Maybe put a bit extra in. So six ounces. Let's see what it looks like. Because we know more or less the size it's going to be. Right. And we need to cover the surface with fruit. Try and leave as much liquid out as yeah. So just to make it clear, brandy is not an ingredient of a typical Wiltshire lardy cake. No, but um, if you're making anything with dried fruit in, it's always best to soak the dried fruit. You could just soak it in water so they swell. So you don't have to use brandy. You don't have to use brandy. You use whiskey or water or vodka. Or water or water or water. Yeah, I'll put in a bit extra. So it makes it more succulent and less yeah, dry. Yeah, exactly. Puts a bit of oomph back into the berries. Right. Okay. I mean, the recipe says sultanas, but you can... And sultanas are better. The currants are not very nice. They're too little. And gritty. Yeah. So, but sultanas or raisins, anything like that. That's lovely. Do you have syrup? We did. If you don't, we could have honey. Oh, we had honey for sure. Good. This is a uh, golden syrup here. Okay. Yeah, thank you. In front of you. That's just for the... Oh, great. You've actually got it. It's just for the top. Okay. Right, well, now we have to wait for that to rise. So we have an interval. Okay. We can sit down for a yep. half an hour. Let me know when. We now have the risen dough. That's a good two times the size we had before. And I have greased a dish to put the finished lardy cake in. So now we have to roll out this dough. Just get my hands a little bit flowery. flowery. And this dough has risen beautifully, probably because we put so much yeast in. Here we go. Right, we now have to roll out the dough. And it says here to a rectangle, approximately 12 inches by 7 inches, but nobody's going to get a ruler out. So we we'll just roll it out a bit. And so was out. that lard that you used to to grease the dish? Yes, it was. Cause so this is this is the dish. Yeah, we just and, have, and this have is, lard. This honest. is the lard that you use. So it's basically lard for everything. Yeah. And, and Wiltshire yeah, lardy maybe. cake is. Do you think that's why they call it lardy cake? Now that could be. Could be a reason. Yes, Google is that why you call it lardy cake? Okay, then the top two thirds of this, which is what like that. We put two thirds of the lard. No, top two thirds with half the lard. Then we put in half the sugar and half the fruit, and then we fold it into three. So yeah, Google is not being very helpful. Two hundred seventy-five degrees Fahrenheit. So we are just going to put the gas on at moderately hot 
60. Lori says 180. I would have thought 180. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so would you like to put the oven on at 180? I have already. Okay. Now I have dotted the top two thirds of the dough with half the lard. And now I'm going to sprinkle with half the sugar. There we go. And then I'm going to <coughs> put in half the sugar, now half the fruit. Now one one mention here. <coughs> if I hadn't soaked the fruit in brandy, I would have at this point put in mixed spice just to give the fruit some extra flavour. But I think because we've got brandy, we won't do that. We'll just put the fruit on. Uh, oh, it does taste, it does smell good actually. And then we do this. We fold <coughs> into three. <coughs> and then roll. we roll into another rock rectangle once again. And this is a rather nice rolling pin, which I just found in one of Lassie's drawers. And we roll that oh. out. Oh, whoops. It is a nice one, but it does fall to pieces. Okay. <coughs> I'm trying to get this finished before Les comes back so that I can clear up. And I could hear dogs barking. Right, so we have another rectangle here. Just make it a little bit wider. And then we put the rest of the lard. Those dogs sound excited, actually. Yes. Here comes our meal ticket, I think they're saying. So we just chop this roughly into lumps. We and then distribute them. <coughs> this is quite nice and soft, this lard, which is good. It's because it's it warm, so if it was a cold yeah. day. Yeah, so you might have to just. You probably would want to make Wiltshire lardy cake on a cold occasion rather than a hot occasion. <laughs> yes. Well, no, actually, because of course you want the dough to rise, so you've got to have somewhere warm to put it. The baker's back kitchen has a warm So we don't really need to film every minute of this, but once again, the other half of the filling, uh, chopping into pieces, and then again covering two thirds of the dough in the fat. And the sugar, the sugar, and the fruit. Here comes the fruit. Spread the sugar about a bit. And the fruit. And there is the fruit. I'm afraid you're going to have to make into mince pies at some point after we've gone. There's a bit of brandy there that I'm not going to pour on. I'll just oh, leave right. it there. Right. There we are. And then once again, we fold it into three. So this is the empty piece goes in, and then this comes over. <coughs> and now we need to make it into a shape that will go into this dish. Here. Yeah. Sort of vaguely evenly. <coughs> Let's just... So you want to make the shape so that it fills the dish? Yeah, more or less. Not so that it sits like a biscuit in the middle of the dish. <laughs> no. Oh! Okay. 
We won't mention biscuits because I don't want to get into trouble. This is what was got a slide, don't it? Okay, it's here comes the dough. Shunk in there. Now we place this in a greaseproof bag and leave it in a warm place until double in size again. Maybe I was a bit premature putting the oven on. Okay. Um, we have, yeah, we've allowed this to double in size and we have put the uh, oven on gas mark six, but it's on this oven it's actually 180. 180 degrees, so you have to look it up on your, uh, wherever you do look things up. And we're going to bake it for 25 to 30 minutes. But first we have to put some golden syrup on the top, which just makes it... Um, so I've done lots of wrapping there. Slightly brown or golden on top. is the Lardy Cave and somewhere there was some golden syrup which has disappeared. Miraculously being put away. <laughs> wow. Thank you, thank you. Oh and it's a squeezy thing so instead of brushing the top which is suggests I'll just squeeze a bit of golden syrup on the top. There we go. And once the oven is up to temperature, you will pop it inside. How do we know? Does the light go off when it's up to temperature? The oven's to temperature. I put um, some syrup on top just to make the top gold. I'm going to now push it in the oven for 30 minutes. Check it. Oh. Checking from time to time. Oh, God, I've forgotten about the oven. Okay. Ten to eight. So I'll take it out. You know what you want to do. I know what I want. To do. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay, it's had 35 minutes, thanks to Google, who's told us where to take it out. And thanks to the fire brigade who rang us to check the water. Looking good. Now we have to leave it to reabsorb all that surplus fat. Because the reason why it's so delicious is because that fat reabsorbed into the uh, pastry or whatever you call it, the cake. So how long do you think we have to wait before we can eat? Well, it's so hot that it will burn your tongue. So I would think about a quarter of an hour. Great. Okay. Okay, this is the moment of truth. We've left this to stand for about 10 minutes while all that fat was reabsorbed into the cake. And it is, there's no fat around there now. So we can pull out a slice if I can find something that will pick up a slice for us. This one. Right. Here we go. So do we want to look at it? It's very fatty and lovely. Shall I make a slice for everybody? Do you yeah, think? I think so. Okay. Thanks very much, Mum. That's okay. How many do you think you've made now? Well, not very many. It's not something I made often, you know. Even in the old days. But I certainly made one here before. I can't remember what it tasted like. Can it's you? It's good. 